DJ Hi, I'm Vespers. I'm a dance music producer, live performer, and educator. I post free video tutorials on writing and performing computer music using Ableton Live. I post a lot of free videos, so check out my other uploads, and don't forget to subscribe and rate the vids if you like them. Let's get going. This tutorial is on my power warping secret in Ableton Live 8. Warping is something that a lot of people that are new to the program have trouble with, and they actually significantly change the way Ableton warps from version 7 to version 8. And I've developed a technique that's very quick, very accurate, and will get you up and running in no time. So we're going to start with this unwarped track that's been imported into the clip slot here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the window so we can see it really clearly. And then we're going to click and drag, and we're going to locate the first beat. We're going to make sure we turn our metronome on so that we can hear the click along with the beat so we know if we're in time. So you can see Ableton has made a pretty good guess on the first beat but I always like to manually enter the start of the first beat so we're going to double click right here at the very beginning of the transient and then we're going to right click and delete or you can just click and delete the other one. Next step is you right click or control click on a Mac and you go set 111 here. Next, right click again, and you go warp from here straight. And that'll clear all the other warp markers throughout the entire rest of the track and allow you to start fresh. Next, we're going to use our loop brace as a reference point, and we're going to set our loop brace to one phrase exactly. So that is eight bars. And we're going to click on our loop brace so it's highlighted. We're going to press down the shift key and the up arrow, and that will allow the loop brace to basically scroll through the track. And we're using the loop brace as a reference point so we can find the first beat of every eight bars. So we're going to go scroll forwards, and we're going to zoom in. And as you can see, we're pretty much bang on for that beat. And now we just ensure the loop brace is highlighted, press the shift key and the up arrow again and we just continue scrolling through the track very quickly making adjustments as we need to. So you can see here, here at bar 33 we're a little bit off so we're going to double click to add the warp marker then we're going to click and drag and it will snap into place. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start playing the track from here so we can actually hear the beat and the metronome at the same time while I continue through the track. <laughs> adjustments where it's awful. For the most part, it's pretty good. And you'll have to pardon this piece of music. It's absolutely terrible. So there we go. We've gone through the entire track using the loop brace as a reference point. As you can see, I've only had to add one, two, three, four, five, six warp markers, and the track is perfectly in time. You can hear with the metronome it's perfectly in time. And before you go out and use the track in the live environment, it's always good just to test mixing it against a couple of other tracks just to make sure you haven't made any mistakes or Ableton hasn't glitched anything up. And that is the power warping secret in Ableton Live 8. So I upload a video about once a week, so make sure you subscribe for updates. And don't forget to rate the video, it helps the word get out. I also send out a bunch of great free stuff on my Twitter, Facebook fan page, my website, and my video blog. Check out the links in the description for this video and follow me. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Cheers.